everybody, this is Jeanette from Boricua Sewing Crafts. In this video, what I'm going to do is I am going to show you how I take two images that I purchased and I'm going to merge them into one. So it's two files that I bought, each have a particular um, item that I, that I want and I'm going to take it out of that design and I'm going to put it in the other one. So I'm going to do step by step so you guys can see how I'm going to do this, okay? What I want to do is I want to make a design, another uh, kitchen towel design. So I'm going to show you, um, you know, I'm going to walk you all the, through the steps, okay? So um, naturally, I have my 5x7 hoop. And if you don't know how to um, get to your hoop, you hit in Brilliance Preferences, okay? And then right here, you'll have hoops. And then you just have to make sure you got your 5x7, okay? Um once you have that, then I know that as I make my design, I need to make sure that it fits in this space. That way I can sew it using my five by seven hoop. To open my file, um, I'm going to, there's two ways you can do it, okay? You can go under file and open, or if you want, you can click on here. Now I believe this um, is with Thumbnailer, okay? That's another, um, product that you can buy or I don't know when I click on it it's, that's kind of weird look it says merge a stitch file oh okay well mm, that's weird I, I well I use it to open okay it says merge stitch file but I I use it to open the files okay so anyway you know um I'm just walking you through it the way I do it okay so um I'm going to scroll down here and I know that in here and I have a whole bunch of embroidery files that I buy. Here's some, um, I don't think it's here that I'm looking for it. Okay, now I gotta play with this and find out where I put it. I think it's in here. Okay, there you go. And I know it's somewhere in here. I bought a bunch of files that have soups. There's like a bowl of soup. Here it is. I think if I open up here, click here, there you go. All right. Yep. This, these, these are, these are files that I purchased from, um, where did I buy it from? EmbroideryDesigns.com. I bought them from there. So here's a bowl of soup and I want to add that. So I double click and it adds it right on here. Okay. Now, I also want some spoons because I would like to have like a little spoon um, below here. Um, so I'm going to open it back up and go back because I know in the same place that I grabbed this, I had some spoons. It's not here. Where is it? I think it was right here. Okay. Where were they? Some spoons. Here we go. I'm going to double click and it put it right on top. Now, naturally you see these are two separate files and one is bigger than the other. Now, I just want the spoon. I don't want the knife and I don't want the fork. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, look over on your right hand side. Now here, if you close this close this up you're going to see one is this the bowl of soup okay and i like that as it is so i'm going to leave that alone okay but i do want to mess around with the spoon um the knife and the fork because what i want to do is i just want to have the spoon so i'm going to open that up and when i open that up it's going to show the three different steps now i want to get rid of these two right so here is the few, I think the pink, the dark pink. Highlight that. I'm going to highlight the little round, um, you know, circle right here. And then I'm going to hit the delete button. See? Gone. Okay. Then I'm going to go step, the last step is the fork. See? And when I clicked on that, notice how this highlighted. I'm going to click on the little round circle here and then hit delete gone there you go so now i got my spoon yay okay so now what i'm going to do is i want to shrink this
And I want to see how am I going to position this here. I use a spoon. Now I just want the spoon and hmm. I'm just going to play with it a little bit here. There you go. That looks tacky. <laughs> okay, let me move it on the side over here. That's, that, that looks a little better like that. Okay, so I have this, then I have this. Maybe I can move this down a little bit. Still kind of tacky, but and it gives you guys the gist of what I'm trying to do. Yeah, all right. Okay, so anyway. Um, I want to scroll up again because if you notice, it's got missed a line. So if you go over to the right-hand side, you got your north, south, um, west, or east. Click on this and then see how my little arrow is here. I want to go in the middle of design. I'm going to click in here and see I popped up right there. Okay, now I want to add my lettering. And you hit the A. And um, I want a very nice font. Something cute. Um, what is my favorite font? I always like that font. But I would think I will pick a separate one. That's three inch. I don't want something big. I'm going to pick one inch. There you go. And then I'm going to put um, La. And then I'm going to hit Enter. And, you know, I could write out La Cocina. You know, the kitchen. But this is the thing. The reason why I like to do my words separate. I'm going to show you why. See, I'm, I'm doing all of them separate. Cocina. Um, for those that don't know Spanish. Um, cocina's kitchen. Okay. La cocina. And then I'm going to do two more words. De. And then I put del. It's supposed to be de. D-E. There you go. And I'm going to move that to the side also. And then I'm going to do another one. And then I'm going to put abuela. Everybody loves cocina de abuela towels. I tell you, boy, that's like a big thing. Okay, so, and you know what? I don't like the way this needs to come out a little bit. There you go. I'm moving the, I just moved the A. And then I'm going to highlight this. Okay, the reason why I like doing it like this is because you get to manipulate the words a little better on how it lays out. So, like, right here, I kind of like to tilt my words a little bit. So, I like to go like this, and then I'm going to put la, and then I'm going to put cocina. Tilt it as well, and then I'll position where I want it. Right there, and then here goes de. And I put that, and I'm going to put that, and then abuela. And this, I will move this down. And I can move this down to here. Okay. So there you go. Here's a towel. And I think I'm going to do it like this because this looks a little tacky. There you go. La cocina. Okay. La cocina. De abuela. I don't know if I'm feeling this towel too much, but eh, what the heck. Okay. Now, there's another thing that I noticed in this design. I'm looking at it up front, okay? Um, see a lot of squiggly stuff over here? I have a feeling these are jump stitches. And if they are jump stitches, I want to get rid of these jump stitches. Um, you know, I mean, you could leave them and then as you're sewing it, you cut them. But I'm going to do this on my... Oh, let me open this up. Oh, that goes slower if I go in. And let me go in. And yes, they are jump stitches. Let me go. I'm going to the north side. I'm going to go in the middle. And then I'm going to zoom in. See, and as I zoom in, I don't know if you see, but right here, see, like this is the smoke. But see this line right here that I'm pointing? Look at my pointer. These are jump stitches, and I want to get rid of this stuff from, the, from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here, and you see this little needle with the thread? 
click on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the stitch. Okay, so you can see, and I, I just click on here, and then I, you can see how it actually, let me zoom out. Okay, and let me start over. See, this, click on here, and there's two ways to do it. If you want to see it run by itself, just click here, all the way to the left. You'll see these three right here. You can click there. If you want to be the one to manipulate or go stitch by stitch, you click here. I usually just run it through. So I like to grab the little um, pointer right here, and then I like to scroll it down. So as you can see, right here, it's stitching the bowl. There you go. And then here you see some jump stitches. It's filling all that in. But notice how there's a jump stitch right there. So I would like to get rid of that. Okay, let me scroll in so you can see what I'm talking about. See right here, there's that thing. I wanna get rid of that. Let me show you how I get rid of that, okay? And then that way you can get an idea of what I do. So let me, but let me scroll back because you need to see what I hit up here to get rid of this little stitch right here. All right. I'm going to go back, um, back the stitches, and then as you can see, it's when it goes from here to here. It's, it kind of like starts here. So I have a feeling that's the very first stitch, and it sure is. That's the very first stitch when, it's, when you change your color. Why it starts there, I don't know, but I don't want that. So I am going to go back. I'm going back. And I'm gonna hit here, 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 here. I'm gonna keep going back, see? All right, so right there. Okay, so go back. So what I do here is I'm gonna hit stop. And I'm going to just pick another color. Um, I'll do this color. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it again. And then right here, I'm going to go back. Watch how I'm doing this. Okay, see right here to here. That's my jump, okay? Now I'm going to hit stop. And I'm going to hit my reddish brown. Hit okay. Now... This is now, and this, let me scroll in so you can see this. This is what I want to get rid of. Okay. So now I'm going to go over to the left-hand side. I mean, the right-hand side. And that little red stitch, it's in there. So I'm going to select it. Okay, where is it? This is the bolt. Here it is. This is the gem stitch. It's the 1.5 one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is when I selected that, notice how this highlighted. So now I'm going to click this zero and I'm going to hit delete. There you go. Now, let me look in. That jump stitch is gone. Yay. Okay, so what I would do is I would do the same thing with the rest of it. So if you see right here, I'm going to run it again. Let me, let me scroll out so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to, right up here, I'm going to run it again. I'm going to do it one more time so you guys can see. And then I'll stop showing the video because I know you guys don't, you know. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's the end of it. Now it's, okay, it's just sewing the soup. Okay, sewing it over. Cool. And then goes another color. And notice how there's a jump stitch right there. But I'm watching it because I want to see if the stitches cover it. And I think it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, so that's another jump stitch. See? That's another jump stitch that I want to get rid of. Okay? Is I'm going back. I'm going backwards. But see? So I don't know why. But when they design this file, they, they always starting it right here. And I don't like that. So I'm going to keep going forward. Okay, I'm going forward, I'm going forward, I'm going forward. Go 
will work. Here we go. Still hitting the forward button because I want to see when they, okay, it's going to change color. Okay, there you go. See, I want to get rid of that line. So I'm going to go back again because this is the start of the line. So I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to pick another color. Okay, it's supposed to be the khaki color. That's the color that they picked. But I'm going to pick, um, I'll pick this white. Hit OK. Now you notice how it changed the color for everything. But now what I want to do is I want to keep going, keep going, keep going. Da -da 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 -da. This can be a real pain in the ass, I'll tell you. But, you know, just take your time. Just do it. Okay. You want it to stop, to start here. Okay. So I'm going to go back and see. That was where I started the white. Bang. Goes right over there. I'm going to hit stop. And, ooh, I forgot what color it was. I think it was the khaki. There it goes. And I'm going to hit OK. There you go. So you see that the white is going to be in here. So then I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to select the step. See, that's it. That was the step right after this one. Okay. And you see this is highlighted again with the zero, you know, with the little dot. Delete. Bingo. So I got rid of that one. And then I'm just going to keep going and then I'll get rid of this and this and all these lines and everything. That way it'll actually look like something's in the soup instead of all these lines. Because what happens is then you're going to have to be cutting all this stuff over again. And I'm going to do this on the multi-needle machine and I don't want, um, you know, I don't want to have to keep doing it. So to me, it's worth doing this step for the simple fact that once you got rid of all these unnecessary stitches, then what happens is it's a done deal. You can take the file and you can sew it as many times as you want. You have to worry about it. But if you leave them in every time you sew, you got to worry about it. So to me, it's worth the effort. But anyway, I did want to show you guys how you can take a portion of one image of a file and put it together with another image of a file and create your own. So, you know, I mean, it's not it's not creating it from scratch, but you can take little bits and pieces of different files that you buy and, you know, put them together and make something unique. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you give it a thumbs up and you like it. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and stuff. And please um, subscribe to my channel. And, you know, if you... If you like, you know, I have Embroidery Happy Hour every Friday at 8 o'clock Standard Eastern Time. You're welcome to join in the conversations and learn more about embroidery. So you guys have a great day. Talk to you guys later. Bye.